Hi guys, welcome to the short video about what you can do if your network printer is not printing. These are my, yeah, I would say about a handful of best solutions in 2021. So usually this looks like this. You have your printer queue and it says it's not printing or it says it's printing, uh, but it doesn't do anything. It is stuck like this for minutes or hours it's not doing anything what i can highly recommend is to do a reboot of your pc yeah sometimes it's a little bit uh, painful depend on what you have open like open browsers or open documents but it can be definitely be worse to do that then also reboot your printer maybe do this first reboot your printer maybe it's then reconnecting to the network and then printing if it doesn't do that yeah i would say definitely second position is to reboot the pc then third thing is to check the network i mean here i have the network down here and i have different options so i'm connected through the ethernet at the moment but sometimes it can be helpful to switch to different networks if you have different networks sometimes you have complicated uh, network system maybe you have different routers or wireless access points uh, even at home so it can be definitely be worse to uh, check through all the available uh, networks sometimes this can be already really really helpful and it starts automatically printing then next thing is really really important open a um, file explorer and go down to network on the left side if you go down you have this network thing click on that and sometimes it's just saying network discovery is turned off i don't know why this happens this can always happen after a windows 10 update and then devices are not visible and this can be a huge problem and i highly recommend so at least if you're trusting this network so usually if you're at home or small office or so uh, click on ok so i click again here turn on network so I wouldn't recommend to do this for uh, public networks, but at least for private networks, I would definitely do that. And you can see the change here. It starts seeing the things. I mean, the MX920, that's the printer. And before it was not visible. So that's a huge difference. And sometimes it can start printing automatically. I don't know if it's printing now. Yeah, I think it's still doing nothing at the moment. Uh, so what I can highly recommend in this situation, though that's my last tip for the day, I would uh, hit the Windows key and then start typing troubleshoot printer. something like that troubleshoot printer and then usually it comes up with this thing here and you can click on next and let windows uh, run a couple of options check a couple of options and sometimes already during this process it starts printing i've seen this many times so you, of course you have to make sure that you click the right things which printer would you like to troubleshoot yeah i think it's no it's not the fax it's this one here actually here so sometimes it just says yeah troubleshoot cannot identify the problem but still i have seen this during this time that it has started printing yeah we will add one more thing here that's my last option from today i close the thing here so we hit the windows key again and type printers and here we have printers and scanners and here we have these printers and what you can do um, if you're having print, uh, problems with this thing just remove the device i'm not doing this thing here i'm going to check if it's already printing so this is something i can highly recommend to remove this device uh, yeah of course you have to make sure that uh, you have copies of everything which is in the printer queue here uh, i'm not sure if this everything will be gone i have seen this after removing the printer that everything was gone and when you add the printer this is empty make sure that you have 
have everything before you remove the thing but i have already seen that after adding this printer it will it came back automatically into this queue so i cannot give 100 percent recommendation but this is definitely not a really bad thing usually remove a device and then you can click after that when it's removed you can click click on add printer and you can add it and make sure that you have the right uh, printer drivers that's also of course very important if you're not sure just go to the uh, manufacturer of your printer and check if there are uh, updated drivers available sometimes there are new drivers available you can install and then should be good so these are the best options which i have for you today 2021 but of course these will be also good options for the upcoming years uh, not everything is changing dramatically i guess but uh, yeah that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time